Okay, so uh, I have uh, today, I have a Harley Davidson shoe. Um, quality of the shoe is, um, the upper is really good. However, the uh, sole doesn't stay stuck. So, because of the amount of ungluing that was that needs to be done, uh, or that was the amount of damage, I need to rip the whole thing. So I don't know if I should rip the back or I should rip the front. In any event, to glue between the two, I have to rip one side. So let's try and rip the back. That wasn't so hard. In fact, there hardly is any glue on this at all. So, let's try to correct this. For this repair, I will be using my favorite glue, which is bar cement. And here we go. And the glue's a little thick. Need to apply nice and wet everywhere. Now, of course, it's also going to reactivate whatever glue that was left there. So it's very important to make sure every little piece, every little bit is wet with new glue. Make sure you're working in the crevices. Uh, the Harley David shoes themselves, they're, you know, rather well made, uh, but they have stupid defects like that. Ones with zippers, their zippers always let go. And the shoes, you know, there's no reason why there's not enough glue on the shoe. But it happens a lot with Asian made shoes. When you tell somebody to bring the cost down, they skimp on things which are not obvious right away. Some people may have had good experience with Harley Davidson shoes, but me as a repair guy, I see a lot of those shoes and boots and people are upset because of course they paid a lot of money for them and they can't see why their shoe is like not working not glued it seems like a very stupid problem and it is so okay I use a pin here just to prop the uh, shoe and sole up just so they don't stick together while I wait for the glue to set and uh, I will be back in a few minutes after the glue is uh, is ready to to stick and it's tacky right now of course it's way too stringy so it's been about 20 minutes and the glue is now nice and tacky just remove the uh, nail there and uh, carefully press into place all right so the shoes nicely pressed into place I will hammer down using a good old hammer I do have a pneumatic hammer and I use it sometimes but for demonstration purposes pneumatic hammer is much uh, noisier I will use this one Just uh, whack the thing on the glue, and that's what makes it settle. Now, usually on a glue job like this, where I get a good welt, 
I just take the, uh, the shoe repair pliers and just crimp it like this all the way around just so I get a good adherence. Now, if you'll notice here and here, because it was unglued, the uh, bottom sole wants to move away from the welt. It's more apparent here. And no, this side is okay. I'll just make sure I crimp all the side nice and crimpy. There we go. All right, so a little bit of a, of a, a flange here. So I need to bring that to the center and uh, just wear out the uh, flange. All right, so I'm at the trusty sander here, which is uh, just a normal belt sander upside down. And, uh, just sanded the overlap here which made a flange and uh, much nicer finish and it's it for the glue job. <laughs> 